hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Ada and today I will be showing you guys how I make my own Nigerian egusi soup and if you don't know we are a Nigerian family living in the United States so let's just get it right into this video keep watching so welcome back guys of course I already have here my chicken I already put in all my seasonings and my fresh pepper um, the red ball of pepper no 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 this is the scotch bonnet yeah and then here I have my stock fish already boiling and also I'll be using my uziza seed and then what they call obey I'll be using my obey as well this is the uziza seed already grounded um, this is what it looks like and then I have my crayfish in this container right here so I'll be using my crayfish as well you need crayfish and this is the melon seed which is the egusi and of course I have my dry fish right here then you'll be needing your red oil I have this red oil that I got from the African store and of course my baby spinach that I got from Walmart because I couldn't get the um, other leaves that I use normally in Nigeria in cooking it so this is my only option so here I've already added my oziza seed to my to my dry fish as my dry fish is boiling and then I went ahead to dissolve um, the obey in water I'll be pouring that in as um, soon you dissolve it I dissolve it in water you know you don't just throw it in the soup like that I dissolve it in the water first you will just see what it looks like in a minute hold on So this is it this is what it looks like after dissolving it and then I pour it in my in my fish um, as my fish is boiling I pour that in as well and I added a little bit of water as you can see I was just cooking this soup for family like I had people come over and I was just cooking this I was like oh wait hold on I haven't videoed I haven't like filmed this in a while I haven't even done anything uh, you know I as you know my channel is about cooking DIYs, you know family and lifestyle cleaning and all those good stuff so I was like I haven't filmed this let me use this opportunity to film this and that was why I went ahead to film this video for you guys so you see how I cook my own Nigerian egusi here And if you have any video suggestions you want to just leave that in the comment section and I, I cook I just love cooking I believe like I love cooking I enjoy cooking cooking is just like therapeutic to me I just love cooking that is just the best way I can put it I love cooking so if you love cooking like me leave that comment in the comment section and if you're here and you're, you've gotten to this point click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to join the family and here you guys I have my chicken oh I forgot to say I am cooking today a goosey soup with my chicken so you can use different things in cooking a goosey soup you can use your goat meat you can use normal beef you can use cow anything at all you want to use but today I am using chicken look at that chicken guys and then I am adding in some crayfish in there This, uh, the dry fish you don't want it to be too soft because you know you still have to pour that inside the, um, uh, your soup while boiling so I just cook that not for too long oh this chicken gives me oh lord look at that chicken look at the chicken stock and everything and here you guys you bring I have a separate pan put um on fire on the stove that i'll be using to fry my what melon seed which is the egg seed. so i pour in my red oil you you want to like heat it up a bit not like heating it up too much do not heat it up too much just more like pouring it in for a few seconds and then getting your melon seed in there this is the melon seed um, as I showed you guys it was already blended so what I do is I go ahead to mix it with a little bit of water so that I can fry it in here 
so they have other methods of cooking a goosey if you want to see other methods of cooking a goosey just leave a comment in the comment section and i'll definitely do that for you guys i have different methods when it comes to cooking there is just no one way of cooking any particular food there are always different methods of cooking anything you want so just leave a comment in the comment section and also leave your video suggestions in the comment section down below and i'll be listing all the ingredients that i use do not worry i will be listing everything down in the description box so you can check that out so you want to fry this not for too long as well i fry this this is another like i said this is one uh, one method to cook egg you see there are so many other methods out there so it doesn't matter how you cook it as long as it comes out tasting good that is the goal right to make to for the egusi to taste bomb <laughs> so if you're here now and you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you no get notified whenever i post my next video you don't miss out on that video and please do give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video please share it out with your friends and family as that helps my channel to grow please do share this video and like this video leave your comments in the comment section let's discuss let's meet in the comment section what is your best method to cook a goosey soup So as you're frying that, you're turning it because you wouldn't want it to burn. Um, as you're frying it, you have to be turning it. You have to be there consistently turning it. And you guys, I hope you guys, <laughs> oh my god, I did some, okay, now um, the water, I had to sieve out, like separate the water, the chicken stock from the chicken so that I can pour in my egusi. So what I do is I put in my egusi and after pouring in the water, um, the melon seed, I cover it up for it to boil and cook properly. More like trying to, more like making it um, thick to get it to be thick. So after it, this is what it will look like and then you have to cover it up for it to boil. You cook it for a while for it to get thick. And you guys i did something i forgot to take a picture of this soup i don't know what like i the day i cooked this i cooked so many other things so i was too tired i just slept off after the whole party and after everything i forgot to take a picture so this is my chicken that i separated from the stock so now i'll be pouring the egusi everything in in the chicken as my egusi is done cooking you see how it looks I don't like my, I don't know, people. some people like the egusi being too thick, I don't like my egusi being thick, I just like it just a little bit in between, not too thick, not too watery, just a little bit in between, I don't like my egusi being thick, that's, that's me. So after this guys, you go ahead to pour in your stockfish and everything, all the things you need, you've prepared down for this soup, I pour in everything. And then I cover it up for it to boil a bit. After that, I will be adding up my spinach. So you guys, please do not. I, I did not view. I did not um, take a picture of this um, soup while it was done. I I think I took the picture the next day. If I can find that a little bit of the video clip, I will put it in there. Um, I think I took that picture um, the next day or the video the next day like the next morning I just took out my phone and you know took the picture of it I forgot but next time definitely I'm, I'll be making this soup again so I will definitely be taking a picture this time and showing you guys everything how it was how fresh and delicious and you know good looking this is how my egusi soup is looking before I added the spinach and you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please, if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. So this was the clip I could find of my egusi soup the next day after cooking it. I just, I will definitely do better next time, I promise. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.